How to use 40 winks to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell's from here, taking a little nap, excuse me, and thinking about the idiom 40 winks. 40 winks, of course, means a short nap. Since the 1300s, the term wink has meant sleep, in the, at least in the English-speaking world, the English language. And it means to sleep, uh, but since biblical times and since the time of William Shakespeare, 40 wasn't necessarily the number that came after 39. 40 might refer to an indefinite number or an unspecified number or a few. It might mean a few things or small or just a couple, not necessarily 40 exact items. So in 1872, the term 40 winks was actually documented in the British humor magazine Punch. That's the first time it was, it was recalled that it was written down, but the idiom and the expression has been used for centuries um, to mean a, a rest, a break, a short nap. So my question for you is, do you nap? Have you discovered the actual power of taking a break, the power of having a nap? I know that for many, many years, actually currently even still, <laughs> if I'm honest, I resist taking breaks of, of any kind. I mean, I just, once I get going and in the zone and working on something, I just go, 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 usually until it's done. I might take a break and go for a walk or something, but that's, of course, to meet a goal of, of getting exercise. It isn't necessarily to just relax and take a break and think, although sometimes it is. Sometimes it is because I need some creative ideas or I want to ponder different ways and different possibilities of how to do certain things. But I haven't really personally experienced the power of the nap, the power of the break. For decades, I resisted vacations and sick days. I think that in 20 year, 25 years in corporate America, I was, I was out of work because I was sick maybe one day, maybe two. Oh, I did have kidney surgery once, so I guess that counts as being sick days and out of work, but it was, I was so out, I, I don't remember being out. <laughs> Uh, for the most part though, I was one of those people that would go to work even when I was sick. So during COVID, I would have been fired because I, would have, I, I wouldn't go to, to work with COVID, but I mean, if I had a cold or something, I'd isolate myself in my office, but I'd still be there working away. And that wasn't necessarily healthy for me or for other people, certainly not for me. And I, I was productive, but definitely not as productive as I normally would be. So, I, yeah, I was actually one of those people that felt guilty no matter where I was for a couple of decades. It was like, if I was home with the kids, I felt guilty I should be doing more work. If I was at work, I felt guilty that I wasn't, you know, being an awesome mom and home with my kids. So uh, I think a lot of women experience that. We go through this disparity, and I'm sure men as well, where we wish we were somewhere different at the time we're doing something. And one of the things that we need to do is remember to focus on and be present at what we're doing because if we're present and we're there and we're really concentrating on that thing we can get it done a whole lot faster well this week i have already decided that i am going to test out the power of the nap a lot of people have told me that taking a break and literally closing your eyes and resting for 20 you know 15 20 minutes during the day which is a short nap even 10 minutes gives them an increased sense of energy and excitement and creativity and just a boost for the rest of the day. So like a lot of people, I have that afternoon slump and I usually just power through it or have some coffee or used to drink a lot of diet pop to keep me going during the day, but I usually have a coffee or something or I, I do something that gets my brain going and gets stimulated again so I work through that little slump. But this week, for five days, since my granddaughter's in kindergarten, I am going to test out the, the 15 minute nap theory. And I'm going to lay down, literally lay down either on the couch or go down to my bed and lay on my bed for, and I'll set a timer for, for 15 minutes. I'm gonna test the 15 minute thing and then see how I feel afterwards. Cause I like using myself as, as a science experiment before I say, oh, you should do this, you should try this. Yeah, I've heard that it's really powerful and helps your productivity, so I'm gonna commit to trying it. I would love if, if you try it right along with me, if we find a way and find a time during the day, and I'm gonna pick the same time every day. I say uh, probably two o'clock, I'm gonna say two o'clock from two to 2.15, I better check my schedule before I commit to that, make sure I don't have two o'clock appointments, but <clears throat> from two to 2.15, I'm just gonna shut down and then see how I feel at like 2.15, 2.30, see if I'm recharged, see if I'm re-energized, see if it gives me 
the benefits that napping is purported to give us. I mean, look what a great job it does on our kids. I don't know about you, but I remember the days that I couldn't get my kids to take a nap, and they were not awesome to deal with by evening time if they didn't have their afternoon nap. Now, of course, they all brew that, but I think there's something really powerful about <clears throat> sleep. I know that some of my best ideas have come to me and some of the best solutions to problems I've ever had have come to me when I'm sleeping. So why wouldn't that work the same by just having a little power nap during the day? So I'm gonna test that out today. I invite you to join me. That's 40 Winks. 40 Winks is just taking a break and the impact, the positive impact it can have on you, your health, your energy, and therefore on your business as well. <clears throat> I believe there are, <clears throat> excuse me, some organizations that actually encourage rests and breaks and and you know it's you're supposed to take a break every few hours on your job but since i haven't had a job for a long time i'm not sure what the rules and regulations and the laws are anymore <clears throat> but i do encourage the people that i work with our team members to to get away from it to, to separate themselves from their jobs and be present wherever they are if you're if you're home with the kids be home with the kids if you're at work be at work <clears throat> but that's that's a, a challenge in today's world where we are so overstimulated and so interrupted all the time that I think that today it's probably even more powerful to powerful powerful to try the nap theory. So I'm going to try that this week. I'll let you know next week how it goes. I in, invite you to have 40 winks today. It's a holiday here in the United States. Try try the 40 winks thing and let's see how it works for you and for me as well and how it impacts our businesses. Say, go out, have an awesome day. <clears throat> I'll have a clearer throat tomorrow. <laughs> have, have a fun day. And I will, of course, see you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you apply it to your business right now?